So, Annihilation 14, Lingering Shangshu Trails. Before I start with the squad, uh, you only need 400 kills to get 4 rewards, and the death spawns don't count towards kills, so you can leak them. Now the squad, Blaze, Thorns, and Ifrit are essential. They should be M3, Blaze around level 70, and uh, Thorns and Ifrit around level 60. If your blaze is under leveled, you can use a Healing Defender, Scalter, Chalter, or Searcher to help her. And I'm gonna show you how to use those operators to help blaze. What I'm gonna do later is just have blaze right there and that's all. But I do not recommend anyone to do that because uh, it's just better to get blaze help because of how high the pressure is. As you can see with the heat map here, 75% of the enemies will pass where blaze is so yeah the healing pressure and the damage pressure is extremely high on blaze i'm only using blaze because the general rule of thumb of making guides simpler is to use less operators so yeah to use the healing defender to help blaze you want to have the healing defender where blaze was and blaze one tile to the right to use chalter or searcher to help blaze you want to have Chowter there, and then Blaze there, and yeah, Chowter with skill 3, I'm not sure if skill 1 would work, then activate her skill when the two birds at wave 370 are coming down towards Blaze. Same drill for Searcher, activate her at wave 370 when the two birds, two white birds are coming down. Now for Sculptor, you want to deploy her there to buff Blaze. Just remember that whatever you do, deploy blaze at last so the enemy's ranged units will attack her now back to the squad perfumer can be replaced by any other medic but since thorns does not receive any direct heal later his hp will be chipped away slowly and he will eventually die so without perfumer you will need saria to keep thorns alive with her skill 2 to do that simply have saria at the bottom right lane and have thorns in her skill 2 range now for aya you can replace her with any high arts damage dealers like uh, passenger golden glow or dusk ideally use an aoe unit like passenger or dusk because you also want this unit to deal some damage on the top lane. The basic idea behind this unit is to deal with the sinking sand enemy. As you can see with the two circles in the field, uh, the sinking sand enemy has two checkpoints of 30 seconds. Aya's position has to kill this uh, sinking sand enemy in the first checkpoint of 30 seconds so that its death spawns will go to the second checkpoint and stand still and let Ifrit kill them. If a uh, position is not high enough level to kill the sinking sand enemy and it goes to the second checkpoint, Ifrit will kill it and its death spawns will immediately start moving instead of staying still. And Ethan will not be able to deal with those death spawns, there are several sinking sand enemies and all those death spawns adding up will kill you. And the reason I said it's ideal to have a uh, position as an AoE unit is because the last two sharp edge that will spawn on the top uh, you will need an AoE unit in order to hit the one on the very upper right corner. Uh, the reason you want to do this is because they do 1350 attack, and you want to use AoE damages to weaken it. Otherwise, if it comes in full HP towards Blaze, Blaze is going to be obliterated. So if you use someone like Golden Glow in AO position, you want to use someone like Searcher or Neural Altar in order to kill that top guy since it will not get uh, damaged by AoE. Weedy can be replaced by Manticore skill 1 and Rosemontus or Blue Poison or Oosta. And on the very left here you can see how to deploy uh, Manticore and Rosemontus or Blue Poison or Oosta. Wolfren and Myrtle can just be replaced by better operators you have in the same branch. Uh, for Myrtle, you can use someone like Texas or Zima for auto skill if you are too lazy to do to activate skills. And if you're using help for Blaze, you especially want to use operators like Texas or Zima to block the first few enemies. Uh, since you cannot deploy Blaze yet, you have to deploy her at last. Ethan is, is essential. Should have expected that, and yeah, let's start. Should have put Ethan like 
with plays and thorns and Ifrit. So I can say that they are essential at first, but yeah, I'm already this far. I don't want to go back and record out of that again. Uh, first to play murder at some place obvious. And activate a skill once you can. To play a medic first, and then uh, blaze here, facing right. You only need to do uh, annihilation stages once now, so since I'm always late, I don't think I will ever get any uh, significant views on those kinds of videos now. Uh, but I will still try and do it. I didn't do the last two because I didn't have time. Now I have a bit more time, so I just did this one. One way, one week after it's released. Yep. I'll see what can what I can do. Because it's impossible for me to upload once the event come uh, is live, since I'm always at school when the updates come. Uh, anyways, deploy thorns here, facing up. Uh, use Myrtle skill once you can. For this high ground unit, you can just deploy it after Blaze because the ranged enemies cannot reach her anyways. Now click on skill once you can. Activate Myrtle skill once you can. Keep on activating Myrtle. Deploy Ifrit here, facing up. Activate Thorn Scale once you can. Ifrit has to be able to kill the enemy spawning on the top red box. So that's a bit of a challenge. But yeah, level 60 effort M3 should manage well. Or manage fine. Or do fine. Yeah, should do fine. Keep on activating Myrtle skill. Deploy AI here facing up. Keep on activating Myrtle skill. And then deploy Weedy here facing down. We no longer need Myrtle. Now you can go AFK. Or or not, if, uh, if you're using Searcher or Chalter to help a place, you will need to activate Chalter skill and or uh, Searcher skill at wave 370 when the two white birds come down. Or, yeah, when they approach Blaze, you want to activate their skills in order to keep Blaze alive. Uh, before the last wave, uh, you want to try and keep Blaze's talent unactivated for as long as you possibly can. So, uh, yeah. You can also deploy Blaze just one tile to the right and then one medic on this position that will also help play survive and uh yeah that's all to say you can go fk now if you are high enough level
So that's that. Hope this helped. Thanks for watching. And bye.